What's going on YouTube, Giasno right here, so in today's video we're discussing a bit more about the Checkmate exploit and of course we're talking about the custom made firmware and the progress that is currently being done with the Checkmate exploit. Now you probably know the Checkmate exploit has been released a couple of days ago, like 10 days ago or so, and it's been very very popular ever since, because this is a boot from exploit. And as I said in my previous video, this is actually unpatchable, so Apple cannot patch it, and of course these devices that are affected, which is basically the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 4s are jailbroken basically for life. Now more progress is being done on adding support for Verbo's boot and of course for loading unsigned versions of the firmware by Linus Hensey and of course this guy in here A2NKF. Now he said quote, guess what Linus Hensey and I did today, Verbo's boot on iPhone 7 using Checkmate and of course he posted a video in which he definitely does Verbo's boot the device and of course as you can see in here the device basically loads the exploit and then it starts doing the verbose boot, which is basically printing out everything that the device does during the boot procedure. But as you probably know, Linus has been working on adding support for more devices to his fork in here, which is basically the iPod DFU public fork, but he tries to add support for loading unsigned IMG4 files. A couple of days ago he said, quote, I've added support for T8011, which is iPad Pro 2017, to my Checkmate fork fully supports unsigned EMG4 loading. Now this is an important part because normally the Checkmate exploit released by Axiom X doesn't support loading EMG4 files that are unsigned. So basically if you want to create a custom made firmware you need to be able to load the uh, patched EMG4 files because on 64-bit devices which means iPhone 5s or newer most of the firmware files are packed inside an EMG4 container. Now when you try to load these these are actually checked by the device to prevent any sort of modifications and so on. And with the Checkmate exploit we're finally able to patch these and load a custom made firmware for jailbreaking or for iCloud bypass and even for downgrades. However Linus's fork actually works and it does support that but only on a couple of devices. So for the moment it says in here that it supports only the iPhone 5s and the iPad Pro 2017. But as you can see from here today they also worked on adding it for the iPhone 7 and they will probably add more devices like the iPhone 7 Plus 8 and so on, but it's important to know that this is actually a different fork than the original because the original doesn't support loading the patched files, at least not for the moment. At the same time, this is not the same thing as the check rain. The check rain is done by different developers and this is actually a much more major project which is also based on a checkmate exploit. This is actually a jailbreak based on the checkmate exploit. And as you can see here, they also have an official Twitter for the check rain jailbreak, is the uh, check rain Twitter in here and you can find more information if you go ahead in here. But also there is an official website which is checkrain.com spelled with a one instead of I. And as you can see currently there is only the logo in here but the jailbreak will be available soon on this website once they publish it. So yeah the official website is checkrain.com and the official Twitter is this one in here. Make sure that you do not follow an imposter because there are many with the same name nowadays. And in other news as you can see the exploit actually works on Apple TV as well and the check rain jailbreak is currently being ported for the Apple TV so we will definitely be able to jailbreak all the compatible Apple TVs with this exploit as well and this supports the iPhone 4s all the way up to the iPhone 10 but not the iPhone 10s. 10s Max or 10R and not the iPhone 11. Now for those of you who are interested in doing an iCloud bypass, it's definitely possible and I talked about it on my jailbreak forum here, there is a section for iCloud bypass. I actually posted an article yesterday that 6000 people saw which is basically containing the information about a possible iCloud bypass using this in here which is basically the checkmate exploit. But you would definitely need Linus Hens's version in here which supports loading patched EMG4 files. But yeah, progress is being done for supporting more and more devices with this exploit for more than just putting the device in pawn DFU mode. Once this is done for all the devices, custom made firmware can be created so that we can jailbreak, downgrade, bypass iCloud and any other things we can think of. Because loading unsigned EMG4 files means that we can load patched files from the IPSW which means that the possibilities are endless. So this is actually quite good and it's nice to see it working on the Apple TV as well. And also keep an eye on the check rain which is a jailbreak that will be actually created on top of this exploit. Which of course will be compatible with iOS 13.1.2 and 13.2 and so on on the iPhone 10 and lower. 
somewhere. If you want to read the iCloud Bypass related article, it's available here on the forum and I'm going to link it down below. So yeah, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.